we want to simplify the given expressions using the properties of exponents given below for reference. First we have four x raised to the third power. So looking inside the parentheses, four x means four times x, or more specifically, four to the first times x to the first. So here, because we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents, which is given here by this property. Looking at the property here on the right, this is the same property. Inside the parentheses, we have a to the first times b to the first raised to the power of m. So we are multiplying the exponents here as well. So this is gonna be equal to four raised to the power of one times three, that's four to the third, times x to the power of one times three, or x to the third. Four to the third equals four times four times four, or 64, so we have 64 x to the third. Now I also wanna show how to simplify this another way. As long as we know what an exponent means, we can expand this to simplify it as well. Meaning if we have four x raised to the third power, that means we have three factors of four x. Meaning four x times four x times four x. Notice here, four times four times four equals 64, and x times x times x equals x to the third. As you can see, we get the same result. Next, we have negative three x to the second. So looking inside the parentheses, negative three x means negative three times x, or if we want negative three to the first times x to the first. So because we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. Being careful here with the negative three, we do need the negative three in parentheses raised to the power of one times two, so negative three squared, and then times x to the power of one times two, or x squared. So notice here we have negative three times negative three, which is positive nine x to the second. So we do have to be careful if the coefficient inside the parentheses is negative. The other option would be to write out two factors of negative three x since we have negative three x squared. So we could expand this as negative three x times negative three x. Notice here when we multiply, negative three times negative three is nine, x times x is x squared. Again, with the same result. Next we have two x to the fifth times three x to the sixth times seven x to the ninth. Because two x to the fifth means two times x to the fifth, and three x to the sixth means three times x to the sixth, and so on, all these factors are being multiplied together. So if it's helpful, we could change the order of the multiplication by using the commutative property of multiplication. Meaning if it's helpful, we could write this as two times three times seven times x to the fifth times x to the sixth times x to the ninth. Two times three times seven is equal to 42. And x to the fifth times x to the sixth times x to the ninth we're multiplying, the bases are the same, so we add the exponents. So the exponent would be five plus six plus nine, which is 20. So we have 42 x to the 20th. In our last example, we have two times three x raised to the fourth. Again, inside the parentheses, this is three to the first times x to the first. So we have powers to powers, so we multiply the exponents. So we'd have two times three to the power of one times four, three to the fourth, x to the power of one times four, x to the fourth. Three to the fourth is equal to 81, so we have two times 81, x to the fourth. Multiplying here, two times 81 is equal to 162, so we have 162, x to the fourth. Or again, if we wanted to, we could expand this by writing out four factors of three x. Let's go ahead and show that as well. We'd have two times and then four factors of three x. Multiplying the coefficients, we'd have 162. Then we'd have x times x times x times x, which gives us x to the fourth. I hope you found this helpful.